Welcome to the Animaps Basics tutorial. This tutorial is designed to get you creating your own animated maps quickly and easily. You'll see how to create animated markers and how to add text and photos to your maps. We begin by clicking on the Get Started button. This takes us to the Animaps editor which is where we do all our creating. First we'll need to log in. You can use your Facebook account or you can register with Animaps directly. If you register through Animaps, the site will remember your details on your computer for two weeks if you check this box. Once logged in, you will be taken to the My Animaps panel, which shows all of your created maps. We don't have any yet, so let's create our first by clicking on New Map. We enter a name, and we can also set the duration. This is how long the animation that we are creating took to happen. So if you are animating a gap year holiday you might enter a year, or a walk in the country might be a few hours. Let's leave it at one day. Let's see what Animaps has created. Under the general heading we can see the duration that we entered, a start date panel. The start date can be known or unknown. If there is a specific date and time for the map, you can enter it here. But if you don't know, that's fine too. The playback time is how quickly the playback video will take to run. It's 20 seconds by default. Of course, users can speed up or slow down the playback themselves if they like. Visibility shows whether the map can be returned in searches or not. And the viewpoint sets the map that will show during playback. This is currently set to the map in the main window, but our trip took place on the south coast of England, so let's set our viewpoint there. You can change the map type, but I'll leave it at terrain for this. Clicking on set from map will set that viewpoint. You can see that the zoom level has changed, as has the location. If you want to create multiple viewpoints to move between during playback, check out the Viewpoints Advanced Tutorial. Now let's create a marker. Click on the Marker button and then click on the map where the marker will start. Right now, it's a static marker which will appear on the map but won't do much. We can also see this marker in a list on the left. To animate it, click on the Animate Me button. Now that the marker is known to be animated, we can create a route. The easiest way to do this is to click on Create Route and start drawing a line. Click for each waypoint along the way and finish by double clicking or clicking on Finish Editing in the list on the left hand side. The last point will be set to be at the end of the animation by default, in this case one day, but you can change that if you like. We can now use the time navigation bar at the top to see how our map will run. Drag the slider to show the marker moving along its path. The buttons next to the slider give you more fine-grained control over the time. The outer arrows move between significant events, in this case the two ends of the marker. The inner arrows move through each less significant waypoint. And the clock opens a window which lets you move to a specific time. Let's say 5 hours. This can be dragged around and left somewhere handy if you find it useful. I'll create a second marker to show another way of animating them. If you move to a time which is past when the marker was created and drag the marker to a new position, Animaps will treat this as a path. You can continue doing this in order to draw your line. Notice that in this case the waypoints 
are blue with a little clock. This signifies that the waypoint has been given a specific time to arrive. If you want to edit the route of a marker after it's created, you can either simply drag the marker where it happens to be, or you can click on the Edit Route button in the left or in the marker window. You can finish editing a route by either double clicking it or clicking on Finish Editing on the left. I'll delete that second marker. And let's rename this marker to something better. The red icon is a bit boring. Let's change it to something nicer. Click on the icon to change. The icons which you may know from Google Maps are present, as well as some Animap specific icons. You can even upload your own images. Animaps will automatically resize these appropriately and they will appear here for use in all of your maps, but only for you. We'll start with the guy with sunglasses. I also want to show that at Hastings, he took the train home. I can click on the Hastings waypoint and on departure, change the icon to a car. Now when we move the icon past Hastings, he changes. To finish with markers, let's change the line color. This can be done using the past route and future route sections. The past route, by default, will be visible on playback and its color can be changed like so. By default the future route which is shown here in grey is not shown during playback but you can change this by clicking on the link and setting a colour for the future route. Make it yellow. Let's see what we've got so far. We can save that map and click Open Playback. We can see the yellow route which is the future route and the red which is in the past. It's not bad but it's a little bit slow. Let's go back to the editor and speed it up. We go to the General tab and change the playback time to, say, 10 seconds. Back to the Playback tab and run it again. That's a bit quicker. I now want to show that Bob had lunch in Eastbourne for a few hours. Back in the editor, we click on a waypoint at Eastbourne, and where it says it will not stop, we change that to stop here for three hours. We can also change the icon again so that during that pause it will be a little food and drink icon. Let's save that and see how that runs. Bob heads down to Eastbourne, pauses for three hours while having lunch, and then continues. We can add images to a map and have them appear at specified times. The easiest way is to use the quick image loader here on the left. You can enter a URL or upload a photo from your PC. 
Animaps will read the information in the image to try to help you place it. If your map has a known time, then the images will be given a time automatically. And if your images have a location included, many images from smartphones will include this information, or you can add it in through programs like Google's Picasa, then Animaps will read that. In this case, the image has location information and it has placed it here near Seaford. I'm going to change the pop-up time of this image to be when Bob walks past, which is 10.3 hours. You can also add images by clicking on the image button and then on the map. In this case, you set the URL or upload the file from within the image window. And I'll change the pop-up of this image to when Bob goes past at about 20 hours. Animaps will try to make the photo pop-up somewhere sensible, but if you want to have more control, you can set the pop-up location and how long it pops up for in advanced mode. Text boxes work very similarly. Click on the map and enter the text. And we'll have that start at about seven hours. At this point, you might want to share this map with your friends. Just click on Link Embed, and you'll be given a URL, which you can send via email, link to in Facebook, etc. In future, we will provide more direct ways of sharing your maps through services like Facebook and Twitter. Let's see what the final playback is like. That's all for this tutorial on the basics of Animaps. We hope that it will help you to create fun and informative animations. When you're ready for more, see our advanced tutorials on animating shapes, multiple viewpoints and more.